All right, a little, little dark here. Very creepy music coming and playing out here. Empty. I don't know why they keep making a bunch of loud ass music or banes above me. Hold on one second. Is there a fucking spider in my wall? Not a spider, but there is a bug up there. I can't reach it, so I gotta wait till it comes down. Hello? Tor? It's Saga Anderson. I think people would be uh working here. I need health. Give me health. Get another page. Tor Anderson had lightning in his veins. This was rock and roll, baby. That Weaver girl had cast a spell on him. Tor would do anything she'd ask. Tor deserved this. Tor wanted this. Mm. She wanted the song. A gift. He had to get it for her. Afterwards, it was too late. Tor swung his hammer in frustration. The spark was gone. Black liquid clogged his mind. A bad trip. Tor fought it. He was strong. He'd never be taken. But the darkness could still drown him. Tor needed to warn someone. It was all happening again. Tom was back, coming back. Tom would need help too if he was going to make it. But the brothers were too old to stop at this time. Tor had called someone, someone who could help. The name escaped him, drowned beneath dark. Saga. More health, please. Bugs moving fast. I keep looking up to find it. I'm gonna end up forgetting about it. Um, we got blood. He's pretty bad, but he tore off his bandages. Why? Because he's a man. Doc, Rose and me found Mr. Anderson knocked down on the floor by phone, burns on hand, and cut on head. He's out cold, so brought him here. Been acting strange all week. Take good care. He is VIP. BB. Who's BB? Not sure all these ma should be flying around in a wellness center, aka hospital. They didn't say watch out for puddles, didn't they? There are puddles here. There was locked. It was a save room, okay. No health? Shame. Shame! Oh. That's a shoebox. No nanny script page, though. Normally she has one in hers. Can't be opened on this side. Hmm. Didn't I come from here? I'm right. Yeah, that's the entrance right there. Oh, I didn't go in this room. Tor, wait! It's me! 
Cynthia, baby. Get that leg strength. Holy shit balls, dude. That fucking got me. An electric lock. Looks like it's controlled remotely. Hmm. Doing construction, apparently. Up in that one. <clears throat> Ooh, a cooler. Nothing in it. Well, this isn't spooky. Got a bathroom. How is this a security room? Uh, private. Oh, Blum's workroom. Okay. A security computer. Can't carry that. What is that? I'll only carry two of these. Well, that's get a fucking change. Um, inventory. Well, actually, do I have enough to upgrade something? I do. Oh, you know what? Let's do this. Yes. Saga realized the crossbow could hold two shots at the same time. Had she just not noticed before? Or had the weapon changed somehow? Like in a dream. Ooh, a dream. I had to mess with the inventory. Dude, what button was it? There it is. Um, let's get rid of this. Vladimir Blum. Uh, you've been accepted into the prestigious ranks of our most hallowed organization. As such, you will join a noble cause and be privy to the most guarded secrets. The ceremony will take place the day after the new moon, as is tradition. This guy is part of the Hostile cult. brothers aren't just in the cult. They're its damn leaders. Yeah, I kind of figured that already, too. Needs a password. And a warrant, technically. Of course it does. But hey... Desperate times. I wonder if there was a clue on this. I don't think so. Sixteen oh eight. I had to take care of the dead raccoon over at the bunker. It smelled very bad. Not good for my hangover. Hooray! My acceptance level is. Arrived, I am one of the gay now. Do Svidania to the born old Vlad. Hello to the exciting new man about about town, Vlad. Buy vodka and herring to celebrate. This month, everything will change. So, 1508. It's going to be... Uh, 
Ups. Whoops. I wonder if it's this year. So it would be... Enough numbers. Seventeen twenty. Four. Seventeen's on there a lot, so maybe it's four. No, oh, because it's twenty nine thirty one. Three nine seventeen twenty. It was August that he got it, so maybe it's how many letters is it? Was it numbers was it? Was it six? Two yeah it was it was six. Three nine seventeen twenty five. Alright, so I think it is August, because that's the month that he got accepted, so that's probably what it is. But it was 1 in 30, so it's probably 1 then. 1, oh no, it's 8 though. Oh no, that's right, 1, 8, 16, 24. Oops. Not that either. I mean, if it's the numbers that are circled, it would be 4, 17, 29, 20, but there's a 31. Wait, that, is that? No, that's a 20, 29. But this is 2023, though. Maybe that's how you get the year. So it was eight. Day, then month. He uses European formatting. Yeah, it's day, then month. So it's 16. 23, 16, oh, wait. Maybe that's what it is. Unless it's 23.15, the actual date that he got it. Maybe I can figure it out. Sorry about the dog. Maybe I can figure it out this way. But probably not, right? Odin said Thor needs help. But from what? Is he turning into a Taken? We did get clues for something. Holy shit. I got a lot of stuff here. Where is Tor? Computer password, that's what I need. Maybe it has to do with phases of the moon. Oh, that's right. They do it on every. I have what I need to figure out the 
Yeah. That's right. What moons did they do it on, though? I can't remember. Was it new moons or full moons? Ugh. Controls the door that Tor went through. What? Tor is being targeted. He needs help. That's why I tried putting it. It didn't want to go down there last Tor time. Left the wellness center. Yeah. All right, so it has something to do with the moon. It's the new moon or the full moon? It's a new full moon. That's hell, because that's not that's circled. But it's the 17th. It doesn't help me. Ceremony is the day after tomorrow. It was August 15th. So it's on the 16th. It's the new moon. Right. So I think it's the new moon then. The day. So this is the day after, and on the 16th was the new moon. Okay, but it's not circled. I think that matters though, right? There's nothing circled out of the one the nineteenth on there though. Yeah, the new moon's always in the seventeenth on these ones. Seventeen, seventeen. Another sixteen. So maybe it's nineteen. 17 and then 16. <sighs> Unless this is a day that's circled after the new moon. Ah, oh, shit. I lost the bug. Fuck, hold on. I forgot to look!
this cat killed it. I found it. It's like in the corner and then started walking down, so I waited for it to get down a little farther so I could reach it. I hit it. And it fell. And I was like, oh shit, where'd it go? And I started running around my um uh, I don't know what the fuck it's called. Game fucking case cabinet thing. And then I hit it again, it fell, and then it stood on the floor. I was like, oh shit, and I kept hitting the floor, but you know, kept getting away. And I finally got it. Yeah. Dogs are in my room and they smell like ass. I think because she's like excited because I like I said my girl. Well, actually no, it says my other game that I was doing because I beat that one. So yeah. My girl has friends over, so yeah, she brought the dogs in here. But I think it's exciting because it's like running around all happy and shit. And she's panting. She stinks. All right, we're trying to figure this out. She says she has enough to figure out the fucking thing. But. Sounds excited, wonder what he's planning. We already know that. The only reason they joined the cult is anyone here not a damn cultist? Eight or con passwords might be something here. Unless it's tied. I also don't know where the remote for my fucking fan is. So it's cold earlier, but I'm. Shit. I wonder if that's gonna get picked up on the mic. I don't think it is. Okay, so we had 16. Oh, we had four. Oh, it's four. 14. Why was I thinking 16? Oh, 1608 was this one, the dead raccoon. 14. So I think I wanted. It was 23. So let me do 23, 1408. Is that what I was doing wrong this entire time? Is that wrong date? Unless it's. It wouldn't be anything with the raccoon. 1608. It's 1408. Oh no, this was 15. 1508 was the one before, my bad. So 1508 seems like a good date. It must be one of the ones that's circled. Which was the 17th. Alright. So 17 and then 1508. Bro, this is starting to fucking slip me. Let me figure this out. 1508 was that. This is nothing of anything, right? So I looked it up because fuck this. So it is 1708 23. Why would it be that though? This one's circled. So this must be the important one, right? Because the date in the book says the 14th was whatever. 15th is a thing. I said we'll have the ceremony the next, which was the 16th. The 16th was a bad day, so I guess that's why he would be circled the 17th. Did it say that in here?
Hmm. I didn't. Whatever. I guess that one kind of makes more sense then. Um, unlocked door. Cool. Uh, doorknob trouble. I, I do not remind you that I need. I do not need to remind you that Torn Odin would be ideal cancer for the call. Please try to harden her. There's Tor, and he's out of his mind. Need to get to him. Fucking crazy, bro. Are we had to kill fucking Tor, dude. I was getting hungry because I've been recording for like fucking seven hours. Not just this game. Like I just started this one. I was doing a uh, Bayonetta three before this, which I finished off. This Thor needs a knob. Oh, that's what the email is for. Because he said the guy took the fucking knob. Where did he say he put it? Um, I'm a little doorknob that's out of place with solve the issues. Can you trace the way to your private space? I meet you at the greet inside a bright glassy cage. Or pretty flowers. That's a riddle for your rifle. Oh, okay, never mind. Why'd you take the doorknob to my personal room? I'm sick of all people's tricks. You can bring it back so I can put... Uh, you can bring it back so I can, can get my rifle. I'm supposed to go on a deer hunt tomorrow. If you don't mind, I will hunt you instead. So if I find a doorknob, I want to bring it back here because there's going to be a rifle in here that I, I want, apparently. Maybe. Let's find a doorknob, too, I guess. What the fuck? Did he go through? Did he face through me? I killed him. I think I killed him. Oh no, he's alive! Oh, what the fuck? Oh, come on. He's dead. He got it. That was fucking terrifying. Jesus. Need to catch up with Tor. You leave him alone, Cynthia Weaver. That sound. I was the water. Spencer.
How would Cynthia Weaver be doing this, though, unless the darkness took hold of her? But she was always like, oh, gotta stay in the light. She was a, always living in like, the bright-ass safe in the room and shit. Never let the light go out. Or at least you got swallowed by the water. What was that? Where did Tor go? What on earth do you mean, Sokka? Tor is resting in the wellness center. Bitch, we just saw it. We both saw him go into the pond. <laughs> okay. Are you fucking with me? Or, or is it the story again? Now, now. Let's cool it with the language. She's clearly lying to me. Why? Let's profile her and find out. Rose watched Tor go into the pond. Why is she lying to me? The secret mission for Alan's number one fan. The hero will say Wake has returned. We're all characters in his story. She lives. I'm not his fucking character. But I can use that phrase to make Rose stop lying to me. Wake has returned. Cynthia took Tor. What happened to her? When the darkness touches your head, your bookshelf gets shuffled. I put her lamp in the shoe box. What do you call a lamp lady without her lamp? Is Rose talking about Cynthia or herself? Or both? Rose. Um, Wake has returned. Oh my god. <laughs> You're the hero. You're here to save Alan. Oh, I feel so silly for trying to keep you out of the wellness center. I locked Torndale in there after they lost it, and I didn't want you getting hurt. <laughs> Before I forget, here's the page Wake told me to give you. Oh, and you'll need my keys to get around. So, wait. She had a page that probably read today. Give us to her. She wasn't going to give it to her until she told her. Wow. Saga jabbed the selector on the jukebox. The missing record in its place. Saga couldn't have found it without Odin's help. What? A light bloomed in through the garden window. The horror story beat me to Tor. I have to rescue him. The key to this overlap is an old Gods of Asgard record. Odin will know more. Alright. Let's go talk to Odin some more, but we gotta profile him, I guess, first. The page mentions a missing record. What's he gonna tell us here? Know where it is, Odin. Driven by passion. Raging like a storm. Your grandfather made the song to apologize. To your mother, Freya, and to you. Tours like a storm. Your mother did the right thing, leaving with you. Even if it broke your grandfather's heart. And mine. Listen to the song, Saga. It's all there. Tor only had one record made. He keeps it in the museum. All right. Somebody knows my mom's name. He's saying my mom took me away when I was still a baby. Plausible. Stay on task. The record is in the museum. <clears throat> does the nursing home have a museum? It does. Fucking dark in here now, too. Can I get healthier now? Okay. It's probably upstairs. There's a safe room around here, though, too. It's covered in black goo. Odin's stuck in bed. 
Odin Anderson stirred in his bed, his vision hazy, smudged. He felt weighted down by an ocean of dark water. Through the haze, he made out Saga. Odin felt useless. He wished he could tell Saga how his silly faces made her smile when she was young. Too young to remember. Odin used to joke that Thor was her grandfather, but he was the all-father. He smiled at the memory. Odin was the kinder of the Anderson brothers. Thor uh, maybe, maybe his is making all up the brothers fought a lot. The shit that they related. Now Thor was missing. Dragged into darkness. I don't know, it kind of makes sense. Odin could feel it. Time was running out for both of them. What did that say about overlap, though? Did I not read that one? Saga jabbed the selector on the jukebox. The missing record in its place. Oh, that's the one we just read. All right, that's Saga the overlap. Without uh. help. Okay, 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 okay. I have a feeling we're going to fight Tor. Um... Is that saber? Who was upstairs? Coming out in. Wait, what do you want me to do, bro? It's not helping me at all. Yeah, I can't talk to him. Beep beep. I never did find that door knob, huh? Shit. Rock music. I like how their moonshine is part of the, uh... Fucking stole it. Moonshine's part of the museum. But it's gone. Cynthia has the record. She will tell me where to find it. Unless she's the person we're gonna fight. The fuck happened to her? Jesus. Angus Lemoris is missing. Who took it? Our shame becomes the pale horse. I said Rose looked different. Fucking Cynthia Weaver looks completely different. Tor's love for you is in that song. That's why Cynthia wants it. To ruin him. She made Tor lust after her. We fought one scratching hag years ago. Now he's fallen for another, and we might lose him for good. One less Anderson. That isn't going to happen. Cynthia has torn the overlap. Angus Lemoris is the key to get there. I need to make Cynthia reveal its location. Well, let's profile her ass then. Cynthia targeted Tor specifically. Why him? Deal with a nasty Anderson fellow. His heart was broken. Cancer. Leaks started appearing. It was too late. Shut her out of her own face. The dark presence is using Cynthia to keep me from talking to Tor. Where is Angus Lemoris now? He is a young girl in blood. Her broken frog leads it. The shadows come alive. A gift. An arm of death wish. She has the record. I can get it out of her. Angus Lemoris. Where is it, Cynthia? Drowned beneath dark. Too many hands. The bat won't fight with her. Cut short. She screamed. And oh, folks, hear her. The 
the fucking bathtub? Okay. I don't know why she'd ever go to those old folks home. Maybe she was losing her mind or something. I mean, people probably already thought that from, you know, they played the first game. Cynthia took the record and I brought it back. But the real question is like, why would she not want to still live in a bright area unless she thought she was safe? But somehow I doubt she always thought that. Because I think even at the end of the first game, I think you could still see her holding the lamp. <clears throat> Where is her room though? You know, I don't think I went all the way up here, did I? And a May. Search the other rooms first. We'll come over here first, too. Hey, it's Ati. Hello there. Saga Anderson. Hey, Fazid. Name won't make the band birds. Even the Swedish name. I'm Ahti. We've met. Do you know anything about the cult of the tree? Yes, yes. He who reaches for a spruce tree will stumble into a juniper. Whom was one of them? He has kicked empty. <laughs> I wouldn't want to be in his shoes. But I like his shoes. How did you know Blum was part of the cult? Oh, Fox never runs out of tricks. He's a crazy man, and he will show his ways. <laughs> Bloom like to talk. Talk to Adi. We haven't gone in here. Getting in is forbidden. Oh, I can't go in there with the key fob. Oh. Jesus. For those who wait. But in the end, stand the test. You were... I can see you there. I say, he was just sitting on the bed a second ago. Norman. At least you aren't downstairs, so I don't know where the fuck they are. Your room looks like shit, bro. Yeah. Another dirty manuscript page. Wheeler set up a foundation with the sales of their greatest hits album. He used the cash to build a nursing facility. The old men deserved it. And it's nice of him. Bright Falls, Wheeler hired a contractor to have it refitted as an old folks care home. At this point, Wheeler felt good about himself. He had a heart of gold. No need to feel guilty. Wheeler left the work to the contractor and returned to New York City. He had done his part. It was time to turn over a new leaf. The contractors figured out Wheeler was gone for good. They took the money and ran. Wow. When the fall rains came, the leaks started appearing. Makes sense on why it's fucking leaking everywhere. Can't trust fucking anybody, bro, can ya? Keyfob's no good without power. But of course. Doesn't look like this. You can go to the basement and check the generator. Why don't you go for me, bro? 
You can never know. The basement. Thanks. Nothing scary ever happens in a basement. Let me get down in the basement. Basement. Is that here? It is. Yep. I need bolt cutters. Uh, of course you do. Where the hell can I get those? In the bulk clutters for a lot of stuff. Wait, there's dialogue in these places. I don't like that sound. <laughs> Fucking course, dude. Okay, there's so many of them. I didn't get that one back. Can I find bolt cutters anywhere? No, oh, but I'll find another page. Before we read that. I don't think I want to go back this way, or do I? I don't know how this would get me in there. How's this? There's something in his room I didn't see. Oh no, there's a back room to this. Yeah, sorry, well, never mind. Dude, are you fucking kidding me right now? There's a dead guy in here. I need to get the power back on. Key fob's no good without power. Of course. Remember, buy more fuses. Many more crappy equipment keeps below in them. Actually, while we're in here. No one bothering us. Let's read. Damn it. The one we picked up. It's 1988. A face off between deities on the rim of Cauldron Lake, high above its dark waters. Thunder roared. The old gods facing something even more powerful. 
something harder to define even. Or changing the perspective, raving lunatics all caught up in the frenzy of a shared delusion. The old gods, the corsairs of the sea of night, and the dark one who yearned to stand in between, who had always stood in between, who would soon stand in between. We help you, you stay away from our family, Tor Anderson snarled over the thunder. Yes, until you all come to me, came the answer. That's never gonna happen, shouted Odin. I will take this as collateral, shall you remember our deal, said the dark one. Blood arched from Odin's face as he fell to his knees. Lightning hit the dark figure on the cliff, and with that, he was gone. Tor rushed to his brother. Are you all right, bro? Effectively blind in that moment, the eye patch covering his left eye, his hand over the now empty socket of his right, blood oozing out of it. Odin cursed. The bastard took the wrong eye. Okay. Oh, another one? Lucky ass. Very struggles with artists. Wheeler used to be the agent of a manic depressive celebrity writer, Alan Wake. Wake had various addictions on his back, an on off death wish. Wheeler had seen a thing or two. Wheeler paid a lot of money for a good shrink. Got himself convinced that all the nightmares he'd seen leading up to Wake drowning himself were just his imagination. PTSD. Now we had pills to keep the shadows from his sleep. But the Andersons were something else. The nightmares were starting to creep in again. Or maybe it was the drugs in the air. Wheeler hoped it was the drugs. The Andersons. So he lost his mind. Sorry, doing drugs. After every gig in the party that followed, it took them weeks to bounce back. And they never did completely. Each time Wheeler expected. Yeah, because that fucking moonshine destroyed their minds. Wait, return seven? Summoning? We're doing old gods. Why would I get this one now? Whatever. It seems weird. The fuse is blown. Of course. Maybe Need a fuse. Got an arrow. Bro, spare fuses now locked away because someone, Ati, keeps stealing them. Code is in the laundry room. Well, where are they locked up though? They locked up in the laundry room? Another page, bro? Jeez. Find them like flies. Emmet. Poor Emmett. Emmett Elwood had had enough. All his life he'd been surrounded by the same small-minded, impolite, ignorant people in town. Their endless gossip, their nose-picking, chewing food with their mouths open, not washing their hands after visiting the restroom, touching things, touching everything. The world was going to hell. He'd watch day after day how all the nice things in life in Bright Falls were spoiled and ruined forever. There would be a just and terrible reckoning. Emmett had imagined many times how he'd make them pay. He had lovingly tended his anger, made it grow hotter. It was out in the open now. Ugly and slobbering, they reached at him with their unwashed hands. He'd beat them down, beat them until they no longer moved. And then he'd wash his hands with a strong antibacterial disinfectant. Jesus. Uh. 
I like the sound of that gurgling. I'm gonna take it we don't have anything to watch here. The power's off. Oh yeah, duh. House of Zane, renowned filmmaker, establishes artist commune in Bright Falls. Thomas Zane, born Thomas Zian in Finland. Um, and his partner, Barbara Jagger, born Baba Jakala in Finland, uh, recently established an artist commune here in Bright Falls. Mr. Zane has purchased the old manor house outside town, and the couple has already settled in. Oops. In his home country and internationally as well, Mr. Zane is a well-known and respected auteur filmmaker. Raiden star already compared to the likes of Stanley Kubrick and... Ingmar Bergman. His earlier film, Nightless Night, won a number of European film awards. Mr. Zane is currently in the process of filming a future title, Tom the Poet. In conversation, Mr. Zane comes across as a charismatic figure with big dreams. He talks about building a hotel and a film studio in the area. He, has an, <clears throat> he even has a name picked out for the hotel, Ocean View Hotel. Uh, this reporter believes the name has a nice ring to it. Mr. Zane's dreams would certainly make Bright Falls a household name. It became reality. Members of the commune clearly feel the same, seeing Zane as a person worth revering even to a faintly cult-like degree. A person who guides his flock to expand their consciousness and to reach a higher state of artistic inspiration with the aid of magic mushrooms. The Bright Falls record does not um, condone the use of illegal drugs. We hope Mr. Zane will help put our town on the artistic map. Wow. Oops. How about that? Alright, so it's probably in there, but we have to get it from the laundry room. Oh my god, another one, bro? Cynthia Weaver had always Find him like lantern close. crazy. Someone in the back with her. In the dark. Dark water pressed itself into her. She screamed. Poor Cynthia. Um, hold on one second. Never mind, we're good. Oh, this is the laundry room. Code is 273. Rose, if you see this? Please remind the residents to leave my stuff alone. I think, I think they hate me. 273. I'm just waiting for something. All right, so if I turn the power back on, I should probably come back to this room. Just can watch whatever the hell's on that film rail. Um, where am I going again? This way, okay. Is that? Well, if I get the power back on, hopefully nothing fucking fucks with us either in here. There, power's back on. Ah, safety. Well, let's make it real safe. Been a while. Definitely been a while. Two hours. Okay. Well, we have the power back on. Let's um try to get back into Cynthia's room now. That record, so we can go try to save Tor.